was your it's their job, bro. Yeah. How's your how's your was your finger messed up? Oh, oh. did the did the camera get that? Oh. I tried to do the it camera, real good. The camera did get it, and so did ours. Now, <laughs> where what what, the, what happened there? How, how did that happen? So he bit me. <laughs> no, he didn't. Uh, dirt bike wreck 15 years ago, so it's not special. <laughs> It breaks every now and then, so it hurts. But so it was fine coming into the fight, but then during the fight. No, no, no. It's been fight. like this for 15 years, oh. or 16 now. I'm getting old. <laughs> okay. So it's so it's actually fine. You're mm -hmm. just not in pain at all. I just figured I'd break the the. I should have done it during the interview, just like Joe Rogan. It's great to see you, you know, like a Ricky Bobby thing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get. Is that a good icebreaker at parties? <laughs> it's it's not the icebreaker that I want because I don't do it like this. It will be like resting somewhere and you'll see some like a good looking lady and she's like <laughs> <laughs> trying to be discreet. I'm like, come on, have feelings. <laughs> Hurts. Is it effective ultimately though? Huh? Is it effective ultimately? Is it icebreaker? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> My wife and I, uh, we were on our first or second date. Uh, like steak and shake after a movie or something. Don't judge me. Uh, and I saw her see it and like stare at it for a second. And I was like, come on, man. And then uh, I hid it under there. And then she saw it again later. And I was like, yes, it's crooked. And she was like, mine is too. So her left ring finger is crooked. just Not as much as mine, but it's crooked. She slammed it in a sliding door when she was young. So it was love at first sight. Uh, <laughs> it was meant to be. It was meant to be. Left hand, both of it are, it's our we uh, wedding ring finger too. It's pretty funny. <laughs> anyway, you got, you got a fight. <laughs> <laughs> My life story over here. Uh, he's a guy that a lot of people know. Uh, he's on losing street, but he still has a, kind of a big name behind him. How, how happy are you with this, with this victory? Pretty, pretty one-sided victory. I feel great. I mean, I got to show that my grappling is better than I showed against Gillespie when he kind of big brothered me. So um, I was happy with it. I feel like I need to watch it again, of course, but I feel like it was a little boring. But uh, I don't know. I'm just a perfectionist and I like to be as thorough as possible when I judge myself and as sober minded as possible also. And it could have been pretty boring with the back control, but I was trying. I was hunting for that rear naked choke, but with the gloves on, with with his pretty good defense it's it's just hard to get those finishes in in the ufc anymore unless you're damian maya with a boa constrictor squeeze you know and unfortunately i'm not that guy so and you, you gotta do what you gotta do with the victory right i mean absolutely i mean uh, my back was against the wall if i lost this i was getting cut so um that was a, a lot of stress on me i mean i've put 10 solid years of work into this career uh foregone real office work for uh, this crazy, ridiculous, kind of stupid career choice of mine. <laughs> but, um, you know, when you're, your back's up against the wall, you got to be safe about it a little bit. And I feel like I skated the line between safety and, and you know, aggressive, aggression well. Maybe next time I'll be a little more aggressive. You talked about um, yeah. defending uh, from the top his uh, high guard mission whatever they call it. Um, were you prepared for that? Did you, did you study that? Oh, yeah. Going into it? Absolutely. I mean, his... Is that Ben Askren? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Speaking of wrestling. Um, yeah, so the rubber guard is what it is. Uh, rubber guard, he tried to get to Michigan Control one time when I was passing, I think. Um, but I was up at Ryan Hall's place a month or two ago, and... Uh, he's such an ace on the ground and he gave me some good ideas about what to do and then I brought it to my coach here in uh, Charlotte and said hey let's work with this we have one of the guys that we train with he doesn't necessarily do rubber guard but he's like an inch or two shorter than uh, Jason weighs about the same and he's kind of he's almost identical to him in the fact that he started when he was like 13 or so how old was little Nick when he started training 12, 12 and he's 21 or 22, 22. now and he's almost identical size, shape, uh, what they do on the ground. It's really strange, but he was able to do rubber guard for me a good bit. Uh, a good bit. And then I was able to use the stuff that Ryan helped me with. And then what also my head coach Snake was, uh, has known before as well. So just a lot of people came together to help me prepare for the rubber guard, but also for his aggression. Uh, Wayne, my striking coach, Jeremy, uh, my kind of just my uh, dummy partner who runs forward and lets me hit him a lot. Uh, I really appreciate that part of him. But uh, we, So we had the, the coaching part 
we had the striking part and we had the the dummy running forward aggression part. So we had all the bases covered really well, and uh, it was just a great team victory and, and a blessing from God, I guess. You said your back was against the wall in this fight. How does it feel now to get the win, one of the big fights at Madison Square Garden? Do you feel a little bit of the pressure being off now, or does this just drive you to keep moving forward? Have you ever had an elephant on your chest? Once. Yes, <laughs> I mean, that's what it felt like, you know. My wife, she, she was worried because uh, Madison Square Garden is a lot of pressure anyways just because it's MSG and then she felt like the performance in Charlotte was a little bit to do with the pressure that I had fighting in my hometown in the biggest uh, arena in North Carolina and um, she felt like it was the pressure that maybe got to me and in all honesty it was just that I ran into a butt saw on Gregor Gillespie he's, uh, he's a freaking stud and he should be ranked but um, I was trying to remind her hey I'm one of the best in the world at what I do MSG isn't going to frighten me. I'm, I'm going to perform out here. The pressure is from me being one and two in the UFC. My back was against the wall in that fact. Um, not the MSG thing. So uh, if I would have lost, it would have been more than likely a cut for me. So I'm just blessed and, and really happy. What do you see uh, moving Future. forward? Yeah. Um, I was telling everybody that I need to establish myself at 145. It's funny, the last time I moved to 145, the second cut was way worse because I was arrogant about it. You know, you get your little pride going once you have a good weight cut to the, to the weight class the first time, and then you come back and say, I can have an Oreo or two here and there, when in reality, that, that's only hurting you, you know? So I need to really establish myself at 145 before I start saying, hey, I want that rematch with Brian Ortega. Hey, give me Max Holloway. Hey. Bring Connor so I can have a red panty night, you know. <laughs> so um, I just need to really establish myself at 145 with the weight cuts, with the with the depth of the division, and and really get it to where I'm not fighting each time to stay in the company and and having that weight off of my shoulders. You talked about the weight cut. Uh, uh, this weight cut was it good, uh, bad, everything? It was fantastic. <laughs> my mouth is so dry. I'm sorry. Um, the weight cut was great. The nutrition, the nutritionist. I work mostly with Charles. He was calling me every or texting me each week to see my progress and everything. And he had a, a meal plan for me set out, and it was fantastic. I didn't cut one pound. I I spit like half a pound the morning of weigh-ins. Where the last time I was fighting at 145, it was literally 10 to 12 pounds each uh, weight cut day of the weigh-in. Wow. So, so there's a huge difference there. And, I'm leaner than I've ever been. Uh, they used to call me one week abs at my gym because my abs would come in one week before a fight. I've had abs for like six weeks. It's fantastic, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, looking good. Congratulations. <laughs> huh? Congratulations. <laughs> I appreciate it. Anything else? All right. Thank Appreciate you. it, y'all.